I'm Kate Bryan, head of the forthcoming 20th Century and Contemporary Art Evening Sale, and I'm going to take you on a brief walk through our preview exhibition. I'm standing in front of George Boslitz's The Last Self-Portrait One, coming from the collection of Marcel Briand. Standing at a very impressive scale in vivid, powerful palette, this painting represents the very best of Boslitz's work. We're very proud to be offering these three works, which are being sold to benefit the Bedari Foundation. Keith Haring's untitled Grace Jones Mask. This mask belongs to a series of eight that Keith did in 1987, only two of which he dedicated, this one to Grace Jones and another to Pablo Picasso. George Kondo's The Age of Reason, painted in a very bold red palette. And finally, Jean-Michel Basquiat's screen print with hand coloring, Back of the Neck. We have a very strong selection of work by German artists in our sale this season, including another work by George Boslitz and two Albert Olin paintings. We have this beautiful example of one of Stengel's carpet paintings. And here we have Wojciech Fangor's M91, which exemplifies the artist's spectacular ability to achieve luminosity and movement. Joan Mitchell's Untitled from 1975 was a Christmas gift to her dear friend Elga Heinzen and beautifully captures the green surroundings of her studio in Vertai. Anish Kapoor's Blade is an elegant example of his exploration of the themes of reflection in space done on a beautifully domestic scale. We have an Alex Katz called Ada with Mir from 1969. Jean-Michel Basquiat's Pestis from 1982, done on a very impressive scale, and displays some of his most iconic imagery of the ladder and the crown. Here in our front gallery, we have three extraordinary examples from American and British pop. Andy Warhol's iconic Flowers, Alan Jones's Project for 15-Foot Woman, and Peter Blake's Assemblage Gem Nudina. Phillips's October Evening Sale is known for introducing artists who are perhaps new to market and are receiving an enormous amount of critical and commercial acclaim. Emily Mae Smith's Alien Shores features her signature avatar, the broomstick. The technical prowess of Emily Mae Smith is just mind-blowing. Salman Tor's Ashiana Hearth and Home will be the artist's auction debut. And we have exceptional examples by Titus Kafar and Nicholas Party. This work is just luminous. We're excited to be offering Lynette's Luminary, especially in advance of her forthcoming retrospective at the Tate. Portia's Vavajera's Spiritual Arising from the Unknown, and Otis Kwame Kikweko's Black Stripes on White. Wolfgang Tillman's Freischwimmer 27 is perhaps one of the most beautiful examples from the series, and Yoshitomo Nara's Magic Carpet is one of the largest works on paper that the artist has made. Ed Ruscha's 1981 Future is a dreamy example of his conceptual practice. And Damien Hirst's very minimal cabinet, The Body of Christ. Our evening sale will be held this coming Tuesday the 20th, followed by our day sale on Wednesday the 21st. We're now on view here in the galleries and online.